Welcome back guys to another GTA video and in today's one we are continuing on with the Doomsday Heist career progress and the tier 4 requirements for the bogged in problem. Helping me out today is Roughwood so it is just the two of us attempting this and the requirements for the career progress are that we need to complete it with pistols only and complete the elite challenge. Now the Elite Challenge, the requirements for that are doing it within 15 minutes with the Avenger taking less than 5% damage and no one dying. This is also our very first run through of the Bogdan problem and it is also Roughwood's very first attempt doing the Bogdan problem ever. But getting back to the heist, as you can see I'm the one that's collected the Stromberg and will be heading into the submarine. Meanwhile, you can see on the minimap, Roughwood has collected the Avenger. No, you don't need to go. Yeah, uh, you, it's, you don't need to go to the yellow marker. And we'll be flying out to a set point just above Polito. He'll then engage the autopilot, jump into the back seat, use the turrets, and take out all the incoming helicopters while I'm down in the sub. Now that we've made it to the sub, we get a, a short cutscene. And once we're inside the submarine, we've just got to double check that we've got the AP pistol equipped and no other weapon. And we just slowly make our way through the submarine, taking out all the enemies. The aim during this part of the mission is to get to Bogdan, who's locked up in a cell on the bottom of the submarine. Now there are a couple of ways that you can go to that area. But following my route through the bridge of the submarine allows you to take out the couple of guards that are located there before heading down to get bogged in. And it does mean on the way back up, yep. you don't need to worry about those guards in the bridge area. So coming into the bridge area, we've got two guards inside here that we do need to take out. And it's at this point, I had a wee kind of second thought thinking the other way would have been quicker. But uh, I checked myself and headed down through this way here. Got lucky with that guard there, although... Oh, I hope that gives me it. I just melee hit one of the guards. And knowing what Rockstar is like, I was genuinely worried that that melee hit would in fact invalidate the pistols only challenge. But as Roughwood said, technically I did still take him out with the pistol. But making our way through the kitchen area and down into the bills of the submarine itself, we are getting closer to where Bogdan is actually located and we've only got one more guard to take out on the far side. Once he's gone, we can start interrogating Bogdan himself. What you're looking for at this point is just a notification on the bottom of the screen to go to the control room. As you can see, there we go, that's it changed, and at that point I can then head back up to the main bridge in the submarine. One guard to take care of on the stairwell here, but once he's down, it's just a straight shot all the way up to the bridge because I've already cleared out the rest of the NPC guards that are along this pathway here. So we're back through the kitchen area again and then up the stairs. Now once we get back into the control room in the bridge area, we are want to get to the main terminal and take a photograph of it to get it sent to Leicester. And once you've taken the photograph and sent it off to him, you need to go to this point here and plug in the pen drive, which allows Clifford access to the submarine. I've got a cutscene now. And as you heard there, I was letting Roughwood know that the cutscene has now been triggered. Now it is quite a lengthy cutscene, it lasts just over two minutes. But once it's finished, it's just a case of getting out the submarine, which is done during the cutscene, and swimming back to the Avenger. Now at this point, I've let Roughwood know that I'm heading out. He's yeah, going to take out, out the remaining helicopters that are coming towards him and then land on the beach area. Getting closer to the beach now, I am just looking to get back into that Avenger as quickly as possible using the rear exit. You can see it marked there with the blue dot. And as soon as I'm inside the Avenger, I'm going to jump into one of these seats here as quickly as I can and take control 
of the missiles through the turret station here and what I'm looking to do is just take out any of the remaining buzzards that are chasing us they won't actually chase us for too long and we do eventually out distance them but you don't want to just let them chase along you do want to try and take them out because as you can see on the bottom right there there is the Avenger health that we need to be wary of because we can't take any more than 5% damage so it is better just to clear them out just in case they get a missile fired off towards us before we actually out distance them but as you can see we've cleared out the closest ones anyway and heading back into the airport area once I'm here I'm actually just going to jump out of the turret station and I can actually move yep. in to the cockpit area and just a reminder this is actually Roughwood's first time flying the Avenger as well but he did well overshot the hangar just a little bit but we have got plenty of time in hand and at this point my stopwatch was telling me we were only at 12 minutes so completing it in plenty of time the only concern was the damage to the Avenger but by the looks of the the bar on the bottom right we should be good Coming out of the Avenger itself, we get put into another cutscene. Coming out of the cutscene, I'm not really worried too much about the Elite Challenge, as we did it in plenty of time and I was sure the damage wasn't too much. And then we can see 12 minutes 18 and 4% damage and obviously nobody got wasted. But as for the pistol challenge, it was a bit of an airway way after that melee hit. But coming out of the mission itself, we do in fact get the pop up there. And just jump in and just to double check that it has in fact been ticked off on the career progress list. And yes it has, there you can see 2 out of 3 on both pistols and vehicles and elite challenges. Well, that is it from me for today guys. If you did enjoy the video or did find it useful, do leave a like and if you are new here, why not consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.